office. Where would I get 250 acres in a downtown position? Obviously not. And uh, there would be there would be no large canvas, uh, which gave me an opportunity to paint the entire canvas completely instead of just individual buildings. Uh, well, every entrepreneur takes a jump at some point of time in life, uh, maybe a small jump, a big jump, a very, very big leap, uh, but all entrepreneurs do. So, I mean, whether you're a small entrepreneur wanting to open a restaurant uh, in the beginning of life, or you want to make a single building, or you need to do any business which is entrepreneur, I think we all, all take the risk of starting a business. So, I, I, I mean... Uh, okay, maybe I took a bigger risk than other people. Were you absolutely sure about this? Business and entrepreneurship is about risk-taking ability. Uh, to be able to actually uh, vision something, dream something, and then actually act on your dreams. So it's a question of uh, how do you do that? So uh, the story goes as follows, really. I was uh, brought up... Uh, by in a medical family. My father was a very, very famous ENT surgeon, a Padmapushan, a Dhanvantri Award winner. And we lived in South Mumbai, in fact, in Balabar Hill. I went to a good school, Campion School. I went to, at that time, a good college, Siddham College. Uh, and I enjoyed all the facilities of South Mumbai. Yeah. Which was extraordinarily good. So when I got into Pawai and I got into the suburbs of Mumbai, there was a commitment to myself not to anybody else, was that everything that I would build in Pawai would be better than my Malabar Hill house. So the, so the garden would be better than Hanging Gardens at Kamla Nehru Park. My, the school which I built would be better than my Alma Mata. My benchmark was Malabar Hill, Absolutely. where I was brought up by my father. I think it's a big support. Uh, I don't think it's only uh, it's uh, it's only economics. It's not only guts. I think it's a combination of both. You got to have your dreams, but you got to beg, beg yourself with reality on the ground. One advice, sir, you wish somebody had given you thirty years back. Uh, dream bigger than what you have dreamt, and uh, work harder to achieve those dreams.